Hey everybody, Extreme Heat Pete back again and I'm here to do a prototype review of a prototype product from Chili Man Sales way up there in Scotland and he has sent me this. It is a ginger shot. Ingredients, fresh water, ginger, red chilli, lime juice, turmeric and cayenne. Uh, as it says on the bottle, it's a shot. So, I've got none other than me. Plus the little shot glass here. I'm going to pour this shot. Let's see what it's like. It's quite... Ooh, that smells punchy. I'm going to give it a bit of a shake. That's a non-alcoholic shot. It's just a sauce shot. So. You can smell the ginger in there. You can smell the turmeric. As you know, ginger and turmeric are really healthy for you. Oh, it's quite runny. As you'd expect from the shot. Got a nice full shot glass. Ooh, okay. Anyway, I've been told by the bloke who made this that it's not going to wreck your day hot. It's got some heat, so let's try this. Mmm. Okay. not that vinegary. Uh, you've got the you got a spice of that ginger uh, right ahead. Ooh. That ginger is quite punchy. Uh, right now it just feels like I've just shoved a whole pack of ginger nut biscuits in my mouth and digested them. That uh, ginger is really punchy. It is really enjoyable mine. Don't get me wrong, it's really enjoyable. I'm, taste, I'm tasting the red chilies as well. The chilies are sitting there on the back of my throat. The turmeric, mm, that turmeric tastes really, really nice. Slight hint of lime coming through as it's making its way down out the gullet. A cayenne pepper, it creeps up, it creeps on you. But I'm tasting more of the red chilies and the cayenne. It's mainly that ginger. That ginger is really, really punchy. Well done. Now I'll have another version of this. This is the V1. I also have a V2 version of this shot. Which I'll be reviewing at a later date. I just thought I'd get the V1 out of the way first, and I did receive it today, and it's been sat there on the side pestering me, saying, Come on, do me, try me, do me, do me, do me, do me, do me. So I've done it. Uh, one bad point to point out about this shot is that look all the sediment. In there, maybe it could be filtered a bit more to make it more less bitty and more smoother because you got quite a bit of residue of the turmeric powder there. <coughs> oh, excuse me, it's giving me the winds as well. Probably give me the winds down below as well later on. Oh. Well, that is really, really enjoyable. Well, thank you very much, Chili Man Sales, for sending me out this product to review. Oh, I apologise for the light on the camera. No, I'm sat outside and I've got no decent lighting around me, so I do apologise if you can't see me very well. But, hmm. so on the heat scale, I'd say this is a two and a half. On the flavour scale, 
I'd say it's a seven and a half. It's got great flavour, as I said, with that ginger and that turmeric. Oh, it's giving me a bit of a nose run. It's not giving me a bit of a head wobble yet. Maybe a bit later on when it kicks in a bit more. Really enjoyable. Thank you very much, my friend. As you all can see, that's an empty shop glass. So, if you've not checked out his website yet, please head over to chilimansales.com. Now, that is definitely .com, chilimansales.com, and have a look at his range of sources. If you're not new to my videos, you remember seeing the collection of sources I had in the background. He's the one who created that sort, that 9 million Scoville sauce in that coffin, which was crazy. That was crazy, crazy hot. I think that was called Nuclear Apocalypse. And that was really, really nice. Uh, crazy hot, but really, really nice. Right, talking about Scottish producers, please check out Black R Biltong. Some unbelievable taste in Biltong. It's unbelievable prices. Got made with the highest quality Highland cows way up there in Scotland. He's got some great flavours out on the website at the moment. He's also experimenting with whiskey flavoured Biltong, which is top, kind, kind of top secret, kind of not. Everyone knows that he's working closely with a whiskey producer and his Biltong. So I'm looking forward to seeing what comes out of that. As I'm a big fan of his products, so is LG Lowndes from Ethanol Gaming Community. He's also a big fan of his products too. But now please remember to give me a big thumbs up saying enjoy this video. Please share your friends and family. Smash that red button, turn it grey. Help me reach 300 subscribers. And I'll be doing a special prize giveaway where I'll be giving away a couple bottles of EHP Apollo Tink, which is a Spanish orange flavoured tink with Naga's Reaper Scotch Bonnets and Habaneros just for a bit of heat with the orange really tasty people are raving about this at the moment while well, people who have received it are loving it also I'll be giving away a couple tins of this Tabasco branded chocolate you get eight triangles in a tin now if you don't like chocolate you can always keep the tin but the dark chocolate cuts the taste of that Tabasco really well and it's not overpowering on the vinegar taste as you'd expect but it is really enjoyable it's got nice heat and a nice flavour and dark chocolate is really really good for you so give us a big thumbs up share smash that red button and ring that bell be notified every time I upload a video also check out the Scoville unit for some great merch too I've been saying I've not mentioned him yet. Check out Scoville and merch, 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 merch. Hey, he's got tinks, he's got all sorts on his website, on his page. So go check him out. You can find him on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and YouTube, of course. So check him out. He also works closely with Late for Work. I will leave links to their pages in the description below. But for now, I have been Extreme Heat Pete. Oh, thank you all for watching. This has been me doing a shot, a ginger and turmeric hot shot from Chili Man Sales. For now, I've been EHP. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.